of Palestine and to invite him to address the Assembly. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, Your Excellency Chaba Korochi, President of the General Assembly, Your Excellency Antonio Guterres, Secretary General of the United Nations, ladies and gentlemen, heads and members of delegations, may the peace of God be upon you. I am addressing you today on behalf of more than 14 million Palestinians whose fathers and ancestors have lived the tragic Nakba 74, 74 years ago, and they are still living the spillovers of this Nakba, which which is a humiliation for the whole humanity, and especially for those who have conspired, planned, and executed this heinous crime. More than five million Palestinians have been living under the Israeli military occupation for more than 54 years. And I would like to tell you today, on behalf of the Palestinians, whom I am proud to belong to, that our trust in the possibility of achieving a peace based on justice and international law is unfortunately regressing because of the Israeli occupation policies. Do you want, ladies and gentlemen, to smother whatever hope we still have? It is clear, ladies and gentlemen, that Israel, which is ignoring the resolutions of the international legitimacy, has decided not to be our partner in the peace process. It has undermined the Oslo Accords, which it had signed with the PLO. It has and still is through its current policies, which are premeditated and deliberate, destroying the two-state solution. This proves unequivocally that Israel does not believe in peace. It believes in, the, in imposing a status quo by force and by aggression. Therefore, we do not have an Israeli partner anymore to whom we can talk. Israel is thus ending its contractual relation with us. And it is making the relationship between the state of Palestine and Israel a relationship between an occupying state and an occupied people, nothing more. Therefore, we will only deal with Israel as such. And we call upon the international community to deal with it as such as well. Israel has chosen that itself. We did not make that choice. Israel made that choice. Israel is launching a frantic campaign to confiscate our lands, to build settlements, to loot our resources, as if this land is empty and has no owners, exactly as it did in 1948. Israel is giving total freedom to the army and to the terrorist settlers who are killing the Palestinian people in broad daylight, looting their land and their water, burning and demolishing their homes, compelling them to pay for the demolition or forcing them to destroy their homes with their own hands 
and uproot their trees. All this with an official protection. Can you imagine what is happening? Israel is telling the Palestinian people, either you demolish your house or I will demolish it myself. But demolish it yourself with your own hands, it's better, because if I demolish it, you will have to pay the cost of the demolishing. Have you ever heard about this? Can you imagine what is happening? This is what is taking place. I have to demolish my house or they demolish my house and they make me pay for it.